This is one of the busiest roundabouts in Norwich. Hard to imagine that this was once the site of one of Norwich City's main stations, being served by the Midland and Great Northern Line from the Midlands and West Norfolk via Melton Constable. The station was called Norwich City and in this series of videos I shall look at the section of line between Melton Constable and this location. Hello and welcome. I'm Nutmeg 50%. You've probably heard this voice on my videos on my channel on YouTube. Well this is the face behind that voice. No, it's not Halloween. So in this video I'm going to continue my look at Norfolk's railways. Behind me is a map of the Midland and Great Northern Railway system which stretched from Peterborough and Bourne in the west across Norfolk to Lowestoft and Yarmouth in the east. So let's have a look at the map and see where we're going in this video. We start at Melton Constable and after diverging from the North Walsham line at Melton East Junction, the line turns south on a falling gradient through Hindolston before a short climb took it into Guestwick, just over 14 miles from Fakenham. The line reached here in 1882. The line then continued descending through Whitwell before levelling out at Lenwade, which was reached in July 1882. It then rose again at 1 in 100 through Attlebridge before falling through Drayton and then levelled off for a couple of miles through Helsden and into Norwich City, 53 miles from Fakenham, which was reached in December 1882. So now let's go and explore. So we start at Melton Constable East Junction. I've covered Melton Constable quite a lot in previous videos. But I will put a picture up of what the East Junction actually looks like now um, in the middle of an industrial estate actually. And when the line leaves East Junction it starts to turn south towards Hindelvesten. And I know that's the correct pronunciation because somebody that's lived locally all their lives told me so. So that's where we'll go next down to Hindelvesten and see what we can find. Well, it's a grey January morning and I've come down the line from Melton Constable to the first station, Hindelvesten. Um, I've parked in the main street and I'm now walking up to the site of the old station and see what we can find, what's left. Now there should be a station building which is now a private residence and there should be some uh, cottages as well. So uh, let's go a bit further. Oh, I'm out of breath. I had to park right down the main street somewhere. But never mind. Let's go and have a look. So there's a clue to the whereabouts of the station, that's the name of the road and we'll walk up and see what we can find. So this is the station approach and these are the railway cottages that used to be in the corner of the yard. Now, around here, we should find 
the station. And there it is. Small pavilion, Wilkinson Jarvis type station building, but this has been obviously massively extended and altered. This was all the yard. The cottages that we've just seen were in the corner of the yard. And this would have been the railway side, platform side of the station and the railway. When uh, this station was built, it cut across two roads. Um, and when they built it, they combined the roads into one level crossing, uh, which had a gatehouse, number 17. And I'm going to see now if I can find the, uh, the gatehouse, which I believe is still here. So that's Hindle Veston Station, the first station down from Melton Constable. And as I say, this was all the yard. There was one siding um, and a head shunt behind the station. And just a facing connection um, in the down direction. So let's see if we can find this gatehouse. And there it is. This is where the single level crossing was, which combined this road down to the station, which I've just walked down from the station, and this road here, and it combined them to a level crossing here. And there's the gatehouse number 17. And a signal cabin. And this is where the line would have passed through. That's looking towards Norwich, and that's back towards Melton Constable. So after leaving Hindleveston, the line continues in a southerly direction before curving slightly to the east and then again curving down south. A sort of reverse curve there, you can see that in the middle of this shot. Now, also in the middle of this shot is that dark area, which is Hindleveston Wood. And as the line skirts round the edge, there was in that area a derailment on August 1937, involving a Leicester to Norwich City train. It occurred just on the curve around the northeastern edge of that wood. Um, fortunately, only two of the 16 passengers on the train were injured. Um, and the possible cause of the derailment was either track condition or speed or a combination of the two. And after leaving the wood, the line, as far as we can see here, just disappears into fields and we'll pick it up again at our next station, Guestwick. So now we've come down to the next station, Guestwick, another station road. And there behind the trees is the station building, another Wilkinson and Jarvis, a small pavilion type. And there's a signal cabin through the trees there as well. We're on the railway side 
that's looking back towards Melton Constable and the yard that's where the platform was there were two sidings here and a head shunt plus some cattle pens uh, there's a Wilkinson and Jarvis signal box later replaced by a Midland and Great Northern type signal box and that's the roadside of the station very similar to a lot of other station buildings and then this would have all been the yard and in the corner of the yard there were two cottages and there they are and this was all the yard two sidings as I said head shunt cattle pens Fortunately, just have another look at the platform side. Can't really see too much. Still a bit of platform left there. Let's see if I can, yeah, just see. just see through the foliage there bit of platform and some fencing I don't know if that's original and there's there's the gate cabin or the signal cabin rather not the gate cabin, the signal cabin on the platform Okay, we'll now go in that direction to our next location.